Suspiria is directed by Luca Guadagnino and stars Dakota Johnson as Susie Banyan. The film is a remake of the 1977 classic from Italian horror legend Dario Argento, a film with quite a loyal following, many of which didn't feel that a second attempt was necessary. I watched the original version for the very first time this past weekend in anticipation of the remake's release. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but I found that I appreciated the original more than I liked it, feeling there were several key problems holding it back. I'll touch on a few of them as I proceed with my review of the remake as I feel that Luca has addressed nearly all of my gripes from the original. The film is about a young woman from Ohio who joins a respected dance company in West Berlin and then a lot of really fucked up shit starts to happen. An elderly therapist who a missing dancer from the academy was seeing finds clues in her journal that lead him to uncover even more fucked up shit. I don't want to ruin either version of the film so I won't be getting into specifics just know that this is a really uncomfortable, perfectly disturbing nightmare of a film that I'm surprised was able to convince the MPAA to give it an R rating. The original film is perhaps best known for its iconic use of oversaturated colored lighting. Lucas smartly doesn't try to compete with Argento's vision. His film is full of greens and browns, muted colors that place you back into 1977. When he eventually ends up using some colored lighting of his own, it is incredibly impactful. Every shot of his film is meticulously framed and beautifully lit. The use of jerky zooms and clunky, slowed frame rates also add to his unique visual style. This is one of the best looking films of the year. Another beloved aspect of the original was the music by the band Goblin. I thought it was a very catchy and unsettling score, but the iconic theme consists of 14 notes that repeat over and over, and it is used numerous times throughout that film. It became a bit much for me about halfway through and tiresome by the time the film had ended. The 2018 version is scored by Radiohead frontman Tom York. He does a great job of taking the music in a fresh direction, totally unrecognizable from the original songs while maintaining a similar atmosphere. In my opinion, Luca was able to take the two most memorable aspects from the original, the music and visual style, change them completely, not trying to live in Argento's shadow, and has nearly matched their impact. A main complaint I had with the original version of Suspiria was that the Dance Academy, the backdrop for the entire story, seemed a bit arbitrary arbitrary at times due to the lack of focus on dance in the narrative. Sure, dance brought Susie to Germany, the setting and time period having a more important role in the remake as well, and yeah, there were a few dance scenes here and there, but I thought that the film would have worked nearly as well if the Dance Academy was any sort of boarding school at all. I was happy to see that Luca makes dance more of a focus. The performances are carnal, animalistic, and symbolically show the change that is occurring in the characters. Dakota Johnson pours everything that she has into Susie. I wasn't aware that she was capable of such a demanding performance. Many of her spoken lines require an immense level of subtlety, her true emotions only making themselves visible through dance. Tilda Swinton plays Madame Blanc, the head dance instructor. The relationship that the two women share is captivating. It's as if they can understand more through the words that they're saying to each other than the audience will ever be able to understand. What's hidden inside these conversations becomes more unnerving as you learn of the evils hidden deep inside the building. Tilda's is one of the best actresses out there, so nothing she does surprises me anymore. She's deserving of a supporting nomination. If you're a big fan of the original film, know that there are quite a few large differences in the way that the story plays out and ultimately concludes. Luca has taken the bones, the feel, the overall idea of a classic film, and he has reinvented it, made it his own, and in my unpopular opinion, greatly approved upon it. I found this new version infinitely more terrifying than its counterpart, keeping me tense for its duration. The film the film has two instant classic horror scenes, one taking place the first time Susie dances as the protagonist for an upcoming performance that is cut with the most disturbing scene I've watched in years. The sound design, during this sequence in particular, made my skin crawl. The ending is also something that I will never be able to scrub from my memory. A deliciously grotesque, over-the-top conclusion that I needed a bath after. The editing is superb, the makeup is phenomenal and should garner an Oscar. Really my only complaint is a complaint that I share with both versions of the film. It feels too long and really drags at times. My theater experience was pretty awful, and when the film isn't loud, it is very quiet. So the distractions I faced may have added to how long certain stretches felt for me, but just know that this is a two and a half hour film, a full hour longer than the original. Suspiria is a film I will surely need to watch again to fully experience, but with only one viewing under my belt, I can already say that it has my vote for one of the 
best horror films of the decade. Eight and a half out of ten.